Feed the neighborhood with a tailgate ready big bow box. It's bow time. Welcome back to Breeze TV. I'm Madeline Gallagher. Today we have George Anders joining us. Anders is a Pulitzer Prize winner and is here to discuss his new book, You Can Do Anything. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for the chance to be on the show. What do you think the biggest takeaway of your book is? So it's a book about optimism. I think there's a tremendous amount of talent and ingenuity in the liberal arts community. But when I started the book, I felt a lot of people were beaten down. They didn't feel reinforced by society. They felt that they were isolated. And I wanted to bring a message of hope, bring a message of achievement. So as much as anything, it's a mood changer. I know it's something my generation struggles with, with all the anxiety, um, considering what we've like developed through COVID and everything like that. So people my age may not have ever had an in-person interview or may have never applied to a job in person and their jobs or internships may have been online or hybrid. So how do you suggest people my age make these career connections? The person sitting across from you was 19 years old at some point in their life too, and they were a student just trying to figure out their pathway and sort of take that intimidation factor out of the equation. Uh, think of this as a peer who just happens to be a little farther down the road of life than you, the student, are. Your book introduces some worries about the technology breakthrough. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious what your thoughts on AI are and how AI might change the workplace going forward. Well, I think any new technology that comes in, we see the negatives faster than we see the positives. And in fact, I was reading about the advent of TV in the 1950s, and everyone in radio was just absolutely aghast. Oh my God, how can they be putting pictures in this? Well, how are they disrupting my world? And we've gotten used to TV, and radio hasn't gone away. So I think we're going to see something similar with AI. And what advice would you give to a student journalist looking to enter the workforce right after graduation? So uh, go for areas that are not yet built out. And this is something I talk about a lot, is that you can try and go after jobs that people have been doing for 20 or 30 years, and then there's only a little bit of room for newcomers to come in. Or you can look for fields where there just isn't very much of a presence yet, but it's growing. And I've been fortunate in my career usually to get to the growth areas, and then um, opportunities open faster. You don't have to be the best out of a thousand people, you just have to be the first.